you cannot have a sample selection bias of only the pro-trans websites. And that's exactly they, what every wait, single they're, wait, study- wait, wait. They're not, yes. wait, these weren't pulled from pro-trans websites. They were, they were from, No, 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 them. they weren't. They were from the patients at clinics. They were reports of satisfaction from the actual medical clinics where these of people those that to. stayed in the clinic. Many of them left and were never reported on. Hold wait, on. Wait, so wait, wait, no, no, wait, 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 please, wait, 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 no, 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 wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, no, 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 I can't let you get away with this, okay? okay? You can the, finish this point. The fact that you're comparing, so the Lisa Littman study, it's its own thing, we're talking about the same standard of analysis and medical accreditation that we would use for any kind of surgery or medical care satisfaction process. That's you have wrong. a certain number of people at a clinic and they all get a certain treatment and they report their satisfaction afterwards. And then you add those numbers together and you get results. We use that system for every kind of medical treatment. And now somehow for this specific issue, it's an illegitimate way of ascertaining the regret rates well, based on what evidence what's the issue with it 